here's what to shift if you are repeatedly attracting the same type of person in your love life. First, we get to acknowledge that this archetype is not just attracted to you, you're attracted to them. We get to compassionately explore why it is that you are attracted to this archetype, as well as what is it in your behaviors that attracts this certain type of person. What is the magnetic pull? What is the point of attraction in this pattern? For example, we're continuously attracting people who are emotionally distant and unavailable. What in that actually might feel, quote, safer to us than someone who is emotionally open and available? And where in our behaviors and our communication, where we are directing our attention, are we conveying that we are actually available to play that game with someone? If we're continuously attracting people who want to dive in super quickly, balls to the wall, let's go. What is the energetic inverse of that point of attraction? Could be a lack of boundaries, a lack of self-regulation, a sense of urgency, which really comes from a place of fear and scarcity, that if you don't lock it in ASAP, it's not gonna happen. So from a place of compassion, not from a place of blame or self-flagellation, we want to get curious and develop an understanding of how behaviorally we are being the inverse in that point of attraction to this behavioral pattern we see showing up in the other person. From that place of awareness, we get to shift our own behavior, which inevitably shifts the point of attraction. You may come to realize like, oh, behaviorally, like I'm being inauthentically overly cool, overly accommodating. Of course, that's gonna be attractive to someone who's wanting to play the game of like, anything goes. And as we shift our own behaviors, our own boundaries, our own energy, that shifts who is attracted to us. So here's the kicker. We actually have to become willing to be unattractive and unappealing to the person, the archetype that we are no longer wanting to attract. And that's very uncomfortable. That's where we really get to see, oh shit, I've been getting something out of this pattern. There's something in my ego that wants the approval of this person, that wants to appeal, to, wants to fix this, wants to win this game. And that's where things really get to change. When we let go of the need to get this type of person's approval and to be attractive and appealing to this type of person, this archetype that we keep attracting. See what I'm saying here? You are feeding this pattern by giving it your attention. So the more that we can shift out of, oh, why does this always happen to me? And into indifference, like an energy of like, oh yeah, no, nah, nah, I don't do that. No, nope, I don't play that game. You see how it diffuses the energy there? And we get to let go of that need for approval. We get to let go of the need to fix it and make it different this time. There is immense power in allowing yourself to be unappealing to someone. And therein lies your freedom.